If I ask you about the most trending name in the current F1 grid, Daniel Ricciardo will surely be among your answers. The Honey Badger was rated as a driver with championship winning capability in the early days of his career. But with his sudden decision to move away from the Red Bull racing at the end of the 2018 season, everything started to collapse. So he moved to the midfield team. Renault, which always struggles to compete with the top contenders like Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull. After some bad runs in the field for over two seasons, he left it and joined McLaren as the replacement of Carlos Sainz, who moved to Ferrari for the 2021 season. Even though he is a highly rated driver, he struggled to find his form with McLaren, struggling behind his young teammate, Lando Norris. The 2021 season was completely a disaster for the Australian driver causing much damage to the McLaren team in the constructor's standings. But the Woking-based team kept faith in him for one more season, and he failed to deliver any significant performance in that opportunity as well. Rumors are spreading everywhere about a possible replacement of Daniel Ricciardo since the beginning of the 2022 season. One-time IndyCar drivers like Colton Herter and Alex Polo appeared. Then about 2021 F2 champion Oscar Pisteri's name also appeared. But with the sudden announcement of his retirement decision by Sebastian Vettel a few days before the summer break, many things seem to be finalized. By making an unexpected move by two-time world champion Fernando Alonso into Aston Martin to fill the seat, which was vacant by Vettel, created the opportunity within Alpine for the reserve driver Oscar Pasteri. Alpine officially announced him as the replacement driver of Alonso for the 2023 season. That's the place where everything started to turn upside down. Pasteri rejected the official announcement of Alpine, and that disclosed a secret agreement between Pasteri and Alpine. What will happen to him at the end of the season? What are the alternatives for him in the current F1 grid? Despite how badly the Australian has performed in the Papa Yao team this season, he is still regarded by many as one of the top five drivers on the grid. If Oscar Pasteri gets the race seat of the Ricardo at McLaren for the 2022 season, then the best option for McLaren is to get the race seat at Alpine which was vacant by Fernando Alonso and also rejected by Pisteri. Alpine is not a new place for the Honey Badger, where he drove two years ago. Now the team is rebranded as Alpine and the administration is totally new, making a completely fresher atmosphere within his old team. But the problem is whether the team is like to get the service of their former driver. Alpine has many options with a larger pool of drivers, and there are some rumors about the potential move of Alpha Tori driver Paris Gasly to the Alpine for the 2022 season. Then the chances for the Australian in the 2023 grid are very less and we cannot expect that Ricardo will move back to the Red Bull Junior team. If Josh Capito decided to fire Nicholas Latifi at the end of the 2022 season, then there will be an opportunity within the Williams. Actually, rumors are mostly likely with Oscar Pisteri regarding the Williams seat. But now the Pisteri's McLaurin deal is almost finished and that opportunity is also open for the Australian. Williams fielded mostly rookie drivers in the last five years, and signing much more experienced drivers like Ricardo, it will be an added advantage for the development process of their car. If the Australian is desperate to continue his Formula 1 career, but unable to secure a contract at any other team, Williams would surely be happy to accept them. In a recent interview, Total Wolf said that at the beginning of the 2019 season, Mercedes has shortlisted Daniel Ricardo as an option to drive alongside Hamilton. At that time, Ricardo was at the peak form in his career, and if that move happened, the championship battle would be much more interesting than his. Imagine Ricardo with the silver arrow against his former Red Bull teammate, Verstappen. It would be a great battle, but Ricardo is not lucky enough to break into the Mercedes driver lineup, and instead, he has to drive for Renault. We always had an eye on Daniel. We really like him in here, Wolf said. It's just the mentality of Mercedes. I sometimes feel if you're happy in your relationship, it is not always easy to change. It's like being married. You need to be 100% behind it. It was not a lack of interest. It's just that we were in a happy relationship and there was no need to flirt with another woman at that stage. Perhaps Ricardo will see if Mercedes is still keeping tabs on him. He can try for a seat of Mercedes as both the drivers are out of contract at the end of 2024. Anyhow, this is the least possible thing that can happen. Toto Wolf recently hinted that Lewis will stay with the team for at least three more seasons. Toto said, of course, he would have been the only driver to hold this record, but I think he can be equally proud of having seven titles like Michael Schumacher. I think this milestone is also very historic and important, but the goal is to get back to having the right performance soon, and if we return to providing Lewis with the right car, 
Why just think of eight world titles? Why not 10? We cannot expect that George Russell will be replaced with some other driver, except in a situation where he's out of form. On the other hand, the 2019 version of Daniel Ricciardo is also not at present, and the signing of the Australian in place of Hamilton or Russell is a very slim chance. He has two other good options if he doesn't get a chance at Williams or Alpine. He can have a temporary break for the next season and come back one year later in 2024 when the driver's market is expected to have more opportunities than now. If he is not, he can go for a permanent retirement and move into a new racing category like Formula E, IndyCar, or something else. ESPN's Nate Saunders also said Ricardo would still command the attention of teams up and down the grid, and that he is one of the most marketable drivers on the grid at the moment, and one who is especially popular in America. He also added four teams had contacted him in the past fortnight prior to the news McLaurin was moving to Axe to Western Australia. In a Twitter post from July 13, 2022, Daniel Ricciardo expressed his commitment to the McLaurin team, but it was before all these sagas happened. But he seemed to be committed to the success of the McLaurin team to the end of his contract. There have been a lot of rumors about my future in Formula 1, but I want you to hear it from me. I am committed to McLaurin until the end of next year and not walking away from the sport. Appreciate it hasn't always been easy, but who wants it easy? I'm working my ass off with the team to make improvements and get the car right and back to the front where it belongs. I still want this more than ever. Then the summer break arrived, and no official statement from either McLaurin or Ricardo regarding each other's future. Ricardo doesn't seem overly stressed about the uncertainty of his Formula One career. Despite ongoing sagas, Honey Badger used his four week break in the F1 calendar to go on holiday and post an image of him swimming alongside a caption that simply said, Hello, with a sun emoji. The image is trending with more than 817,000 likes on Instagram along with plenty of supportive comments on the Perth-born driver. The F1 campaign resumes on the weekend of August 26th through the 28th in Belgium. What do you think the future holds for Ricardo? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below.